Hello, kitties, and welcome to Horror in the Pit. I'm your host, Fear, as well as the co-host, Artistic Dreamer. How are you doing? Hi. You need to get better at that. <laughs> Come in with some fucking amp. <laughs> Sorry. Um, as well on the show, we've got my lovely wife, MD. Hey, what's up? You might know her from Talk Life Pod. If you're not listening to that, you should. I'm yeah, just, absolutely. And now I'm judging you. They are very entertaining. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. We are. <laughs> You're very well. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so this is your podcast for all things horror, metal, and whatever the hell else I feel like doing. And last night we watched 2015's Green Room. Yes, um, we did. It's, I mean, it's, it's not really horror, but because of the gore factor, it's listed under horror. It's really more of a like crime drama thriller sort of thing. Yeah, it was very I thrillery. Think. I was I was very stressed quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it's one of those films that it it does. It makes you like on edge. You're like, oh my god, I can't sit it. still. You know what I mean? Okay, before we get into it, as always, there are spoilers. It, the movies. This movie's old. Yeah, so. it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty old. It, it starred the late uh, Anton Yelchin, uh, who of Green Room and eventually Star Trek fame, unfortunately, did pass away in 2016, the year after this film came out. Um, it's really unfortunate. It is. One yeah, thing I really do uh, like about this movie is that the big bad is Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. It was very don't weird. Normally, see him as a bad guy. Yeah, and like I, I haven't done any research, but I, ha- I normally he is the hero or yeah. uh, or on the good side. On the good least. side, at least. Yeah. yeah, and um, and in this one we get a very haunting, stoic. Yeah, like I white am bad supremacist guy version. Oh of him. yeah, it was very, very, it was very, very different. Very, very, very alarming you know what i mean like you weren't expecting it yeah no exactly so i watched this movie back when it came out um and uh i just remember it it hit different you know like i i just it was one of those movies i didn't really know anything about it and then the like the general gist of it is a punk rock band is forced to fight for survival after witnessing a murder at a neo-nazi skinhead bar and the first time that I kind of heard about it, I was like, is this kind of, how serious is this? Is it yeah. like American History X style uh, or what? And it actually dives uh, quite deep into the the punk neo-Nazi <laughs> skinhead subculture that I, I wasn't even prefer, prepared, prepared for. for. Um, but I thought it was so interesting. Like the, the thought process, I, I loved it. Obviously, the music is fantastic. Another reason that we're doing it is because You've got Slayer, you've got Misfits, you've got many different uh, musical get uh, mm-hmm. like music as well as um, references. I it sounds weird in my ear, but uh, it, it won't. It'll be fine. It'll it'll be fine on this way. I don't know. Our board is old as shit. Yeah, so. we need a new one. We really do. All right. So what uh, what's your first impressions, either of you? Um, I was really into the. Um, so n- honestly, none of my predictions uh came true. came true i i usually have some sort of hunch about most movies and this one i was completely off and i don't know if it's because of how i viewed the trailer or if it's just the vibe that i was getting was completely different but like all of the people that i thought were going to survive did not <laughs> yeah. i thought true. the main guy was gonna die i didn't know he was the main guy until like you started to realize that yeah. he was. You well, know what I mean? That's what's interesting is it, you you wouldn't know him. So no. yeah, to, him, to us, he's they're a, a bunch of nobodies. Yeah, to, to, yeah other than, um, I can't remember her name. She's been in quite a bit of stuff. Um, Aaliyah Sawcat. The girl. Yeah, the girl in the band, which mm-hmm. I thought was interesting because she's, I don't believe she's, she's not white, but they went to a neo-Nazi bar with a bunch of skinheads. Do you think that would have been problem number one yeah. well i immediately yeah. thought of that okay so <laughs> i immediately thought of both of those things i thought of one um are all of these people like okay with being here like either they the band yeah like as the band like there's a girl and i don't know don't ne- nazis kind of hate women too oh yeah like they hate everybody oh, yeah. <laughs> like and they're discriminatory to like everyone so like 
it was kind of shocking to me that the woman wasn't like, no, we're not going to go play for Nazis. You know what well, I mean? Once they were there, they were like, they were, they had to play. They were, they needed the money. Remember? Well, yeah, they no, I, get and I get that for the night in order to keep, but going. is, but is it worth it? You well, know, it like, up not, <laughs> exactly. but like either way. And then what I, what I thought of next is that they like did the, fuck nazi song right yeah yeah that was bold i was, that was bold. incredibly surprised that they didn't start hunting them then me too like i expected someone to try to kill them immediately after that like that's incredibly bold yeah, that's, they, that's a statement to they take they were gonna let them go yeah which is surprising to me yeah. how are they gonna let them go after that well yeah once you come out with uh nazi punks nazi punks nazi punks fuck you um yeah i'm kind of surprised that shit didn't just pop off right yeah. away they were and gonna then, let them leave and like well fuck that they, maybe because really they already they, had plans for that evening like the people like they had killing plans that evening yeah. already yeah <laughs> i've already slotted in a 5 30 you know yeah, what i mean they, did, they already had plans for that evening i really i can't uh i can't deal with anything else but it it is very uh very crazy i had to look up the lace uh, scene oh, yeah. the, to go into the punk rock but bouncing off the your stuff number one first yes I do think it was strange that one they played that one they had someone of color in the band exactly and it seems like they get the crowd back right away yeah apparently which is very confusing to me now, don't get me wrong I don't I don't know who the real band is in that mm -hmm. but that that's a banger that's yeah, got that oh yeah ch -ch 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 -ch. but um but yeah immediately it's just very weird vibes. Yeah. And you would think as, but I guess as a band coming up, you'll do anything. You'll play any gig you can. Well, yeah. And they made it very well known that they really needed the money. Yeah, exactly. They had to siphon gas just to get to the next gig. Yeah. They were clearly driving all night because they woke up in a cornfield because mm -hmm. they had passed out. Yeah. Uh, they were definitely living the punk rock lifestyle. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, so we end up in this skinhead bar out in the middle of nowhere, which yeah, all is all very these concerning red flags already. Should be yeah, jumping like up. yeah, no kidding. That immediately, uh, I said immediately based off of one scene, no. you you should know that this place is not safe. Like you right. should know this is a bad idea you're walking into right now. For sure. So one of the most prevalent things in, in it is talking about the shoelaces because shoelaces have yeah. always been a big deal in the punk scene. Different laces mean different things. Mm -hmm. uh, it it means anything from your gender identity to in this one, red laces means you're a killer. Um, and another reason that I kind of watch this and bring it up is they've been talking quite a bit about uh, spider punks, blue shoelaces. Yes. And I think it's fascinating. And uh, so anyway, so just taking a look here, it says, what do the colors of shoelaces mean in punk? For example, yellow, yellow laces indicate you are part of an anti-racist movement like skinheads against racial prejudice. Purple laces meant you supported the LGBTQ+, and red laces put you down as a member of a neo-Nazi group um, with the red signifying blood. Um, but yeah, so Spider-Punk's blue, so I'm going to click on this and see if it says... I think blue means that you've killed a police officer. Ouch. That's what people have been saying, unless that's, that's cool. a misinformation. It is possible that's not accurate. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to try to scan through it because now, unfortunately, anytime you try to fucking look anything up on the internet, you have to go through 18,000 fucking ads to try to read through it. Yeah. Oh, and easy, it'll be like, Grandpa. no, it's just stupid. It's just it's really dumb. It is annoying, though. Okay, so. Just continue with on with your little, little hold music you were doing there. Many details. Eagle Eye fans, we your backstory. Hobbies Blue. Uh, okay. How does this take so long to get to? No kidding. The man. shoelace code was born that let punks know who's a friend, who's a foe, based on the color of their boot laces. Um, blah 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 blah. Okay, so okay, but Hobie's what blue, blue shoelaces, blues laces traditionally mean that you've personally killed a cop. Exactly. Oh, there you go. They're said cool. to be worn by gang members wanting to show off their violent credentials. They are often seen as anti-law enforcement protests and symbolize solidarity with groups traditionally prosecuted by the police. So is Spider-Punk a cop killer? Um, Must be. Well, see, a lot of people think that this is how his father died because most of the Spider-People have a cop dad. 
especially Gwen and Miles, etc. Right, the list kind of goes on. So this is how people think that, like, this is part of Hobie's canon event is that he killed his father, and we don't know how exactly that went about. I don't know if that's a part of the comics because I haven't really looked into yeah. it very much. Yeah, because for a lot of people, this is their first look at him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just goes on to say that in the Spidey people always have a can event based around the death yep. of a police captain. Exactly. Um, Hobie also confirms to Miles that the death of a police captain is also part of his backstory. Yep. Uh, so now fans are theorizing Hobie may have killed his own father in yeah. his universe. I thought we were talking about Green Room. We are. We're going to get back to it. But that I just thought that was an interesting uh, sidetrack. <clears throat> now, back to Green Room. Yes. So these poor bastards get on stage, win over the crowd. Apparently, they, after things seem yeah. seem like they're going they, well. Yeah, they're cool. Everything's cool. Everything's chill. And everything was going to be totally fine, but they had plugged their phone in to charge. Yeah. In the second green room. Mistake. Don't make that mistake, guys. And they walk in and find someone's dead. Yep. So then all hell breaks loose. They then are told to stay put at gunpoint. They're yeah. not being held against their will. They're just being. They're told to stay. And they're just. They're just told yeah. to stay. And that's, that's when we sort of kind of get more backstory into what's going on. And I, I did think it was interesting that it wasn't simply as they were just skinheads doing bad things. It was no, they're like heroin dealers yeah. that are huge. This multi-billion-dollar industry that yeah, like it goes really deep into like how fucked up they are. Right. And uh, the one interesting thing is, is we do get weird backstories that I don't think we need or have yeah, any use for yeah, like, it's like what, what by the sounds of it there's a big bad even bigger than patrick stewart's character yeah. that's in jail mm -hmm. but i don't understand why that means anything yeah i don't yeah. know why he was i don't know why that's important at all Pity yeah because he gets brought up several times mm -hmm. but nobody do you think it was maybe to try to like make a sequel or something but it like quietly like nudge it in that direction i don't know because the, the way it ends i don't think yeah don't exactly think that's I what i feel like do too. a sequel um, so anyway, we come to find out that, uh, one of the, it, so it looks to, as far as I could tell, one of the girls was selling product that wasn't theirs. And I don't know whether or not the deal went bad or the skinhead guy just wanted to kill somebody at that time, but that's how the murder came to be. Mm -hmm. Cause we don't really get a lot of details on why or anything it's like, like why it happens. No, yeah. we don't. Well, plus she's trying to leave. Yeah, but I, do they know that? I, I don't think they. I don't think they, they knew. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that part I couldn't. I can't remember if they knew, and that's why she got offed, or if it was because I know they show her selling drugs and worm Caesar. Yep. And then next thing you know, she's dead. Yeah. So in, I like the storyline, but I also feel like we got things we didn't need, and there's things that we should have got. That yeah, we didn't with get. the dead girl, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was strange. But I did like the fact, like it's called Green Room, and the majority of the film is filmed in the Green Room or yeah. in, in the, the event. So it's it's a, it's one of those small, or it's one of those movies where they take essentially one location and everything happens in that location. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that's always kind of interesting because how do you you have to continuously do stuff to make it entertaining? For you to be like, okay, we're still in the same place. Like how, still like, in the same room. Yeah. For the most part. And so all hell breaks loose, obviously. Yeah. And you were saying that you had thoughts on who would survive and who wouldn't. Did you as well? Yeah. Okay. Um, whichever one wants to start, kind of think, how, who do you think was going to survive? And then how did that differ? I, I was right. I, because I knew... Um, the Anton. Yes. Yeah. I knew he was like the main guy. Okay. For some I don't know why, but I just did. And I think because they showed him so much and like he was the very first person to be on on, on, screen. on screen. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I knew it was gonna be the the blonde to survive as well. Oh yeah. But, well, because it had to be a boy and a girl, or at least just the boy. So that was my thought. It was either going to be just him or the both of them because uh, they weren't going to let two people of the band survive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and if it was going to be two people survive, it was going to be, you one know, one outsider. One exactly. 
See, and I thought that dumbass bitch with that haircut was going to die. <laughs> I, I was honestly kind of waiting for it because of that stupid haircut. I Did like you just want her to like die because of her girl hair. <laughs> no, I, I get it. Yeah, I yeah. still just think she it just looks bad. Oh, yeah, it choices. is terrible. I just like I get that some punk hairstyles are really cool. But that one just for me, don't hit. I don't it's, yeah. No, I don't like it either. It's terrible. It just it looks like you you fucked up like a hacksaw. Like, it's just yeah. it's unfortunate. It looks <laughs> they, unfortunate. I'm sure they did it themselves before they went to the concert. <laughs> yeah. right. Do you have a ball? No balls, just eyeball. Yeah, because the, the dead girl had the same haircut. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, which I th- I think that is like the traditional skinhead woman. Yeah. Cut, but or maybe they go bald as well. I don't know. I have Unfortunately, no Unfortunately, that's not circles I run in. No. Know, no, no. Um, Very much the opposite, really. Yeah. Um. So okay. So who did you think was going to live? And because. What the, what was it? The the drummer died right away. Yeah, he, I for some reason no, I had this. It was the, it was the green hair. The green haired guy. guy. Oh, the singer. Yeah, he was yeah. a singer. He was a singer. Right. He for was. some reason, I thought the singer would survive, and I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it was just pure, like purely based off of vibes. Uh, the way that he like took care of Anton's like arm and stuff like yeah. that. I felt like they might be the ones to like make I it through. You. Yeah. Um and. So maybe I kind of thought that he would, Anton would live, but I also thought he would pass out from blood loss many times and die, and he didn't, which was very well in real life. He would have, and I know, I I know, I know, because they like they mangled his arm. They mangled that arm. It would be he He, would totally die. He would have lost his hand, I think, for sure. Absolutely. Oh well, yeah, no. It was just hanging on by skin. Especially by the end of the movie, his entire arm would be gone. Like, yeah, it's just gone. It was hours. And I I wasn't a hundred percent sure, so like that was kind of iffy. I I had this feeling like fifty fifty that the redhead girl would die. I wanted her to live or at least die in a very badass way, and yeah. she didn't. <laughs> she yeah. didn't. Yeah, no. she did not. Uh, and that was one thing that I did not like about the movies. I did, yeah, the use the of the dogs. I did not like that they used dogs as weapons. I it's hate pretty fucked that. up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and that is weird. Like it. It's interesting because I'm, uh, um, we do it like humans do it. They say, yeah. I know, but it shouldn't be encouraged. Oh, absolutely. No. And f- I like the choice because it felt more real. I didn't like the choice because to me it was a cop out. I agree. Because I, I, you can rely a lot on the dogs. Well, like, yeah, the dogs killed what two of them? Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, it was kind of just kind of lame. So the, what they so after they figure out what's kind of going on, and we get a red herring with the drummer who's apparently a jujitsu master. Yeah, yeah. And then he just dies. Yeah, like, yeah, that was brutal. And that, but I think, I think they did that on purpose. Like, there's a to few, like duke you out. Yeah, there's a few sort of like moments where you're like, yeah, that probably would happen. Like. It's interesting that he was pretty much like, I'm leaving you guys here to die. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm what the fuck was out. up with that? Like, um, but yeah, why after being like so in, like he was so part of the gang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was like the big strong guy. He was, he took care of it. But he, it was almost too much. You know what, how yeah. I felt like to me, he was very much like, I almost numbchucked you. You have no idea. Like it was that sort of vibe. Yeah. Like every, every person he talks to yeah. in that film, he's like, I could annihilate you. Yeah. And it's like, okay, but calm down. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Right. And so, okay, you're a badass. You know jujitsu. You've taken some dudes out or just maybe just the one guy. But why wouldn't you think that every fucking aspect of that building, they're surrounding you? Yeah, that's right? just stupid. Like, even if they sent, like, because they send all the patrons home. Yeah. You are, my, you would already know you're outnumbered. Absolutely. Yeah, already. The, like, yeah, he just, he makes such a stupid like, Yeah, he choice. thinks, I can jump out a window yeah, and I'll like, be safe. You be know, fine. they got that window covered. Dude. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, what? Yeah, so I don't know. I, I, uh, I didn't. He I doesn't he even he crack the window and look around. Yeah, like, he, he just like, do, oh, out. I'm out. Shanked. Jumps. Yeah, he just gets shanked. It's insane. Um, it's so, such a lame way to go. Yeah. Exactly. So during this whole uh, fiasco, 
they find out that underneath the club is a giant heroin den, which is why it explains why they're trying to make everything go away and not yeah. let the cops deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if anybody does any looking around, they could find this that. thing and the whole shebang is done. Yeah. And they're fucked. Um, so they decide what they're going to do is just uh, kill kill the band and then make it look like they had tried to steal gas from and, and illegally trespass on... Uh, I think it's Patrick Stewart's land. I'm not totally yeah, sure. Yeah, I think it's the big big man's land. Um, so it's that's it, why like the yeah, dog killed very, chilled out very or crime whatever. and all this stuff. Yeah, they have to do things in a certain way. They can't shoot them mm-hmm. because then okay, how did they get shot? You're not exactly yeah. Like then someone's at fault because of the trigger. But if they were trying to rob and the dog was just doing it because like defending the property, yada yeah. yada, then it's not really that bad on them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. It's like to to get them off of being charged or whatever. So in the very beginning of the movie, they are interviewed uh, by a, a, a punk guy who, mm-hmm. who does uh, media, print, and audio on the radio or whatever and to get a kind of a, a general gist. And he's the one that hooks him up with this, with this gig. gig. Yeah. Um, and so we, he, it's all set up through his, was his brother? Mm-hmm. or cousin brother or cousin or whatever way. i can't remember either way someone in his family is the guy that's there as this p- progresses on we find out that actually that guy was looking to leave this whole lifestyle yes with the girl that they killed yes um so it adds like this another dimension where we know him for a few seconds. Yeah, and the then that was beginning. like useless, though. And then, yeah, and then. Yeah, it was a very strange, very strange. And that's what I mean. Like, I really enjoyed it, but as you start to pick it apart, you're like, okay, the story is a lot like of stuff what? that's kind of missing. But why? And, but at the same time, I think it, we are to be dropped into this world as it's happening. So it's not like we get all the backstories that normally you wouldn't have filmed. We get. You're just getting tossed. And you just kind of. You have to fucking pick it up. So, like, this guy was looking to leave with the girl. Mm-hmm. They had a uh, murder weapon from something that happened the year before that was all wrapped up that clearly they were going to use as either uh, a way to get out and put the heat on them. Yeah. Or, hey, don't come looking for us. Or I we'll, have a murder yeah, weapon. Yeah, exactly. Go fuck Yeah, me. it's like a bribe type thing. So, he goes in. That's when he finds out that it's his girl, mm-hmm. which I think is interesting. But I guess they didn't know that they were together. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And so for a second, you're like, okay, we, yeah, we've got gonna, another hero. Yeah, like something's going to help. You know what I mean? And then he, yeah, like, he dies right away. Absolutely. Dies. Perfect setup for a jump scare. And then take that. It's like a moment of hope. Nope, not a moment of hope. Yeah. But at the same time, it was also really like lame. Because like uh, in that moment, they all come out really slowly of the room, which is insane to me run what does it matter if you're slow you're still gonna get shot either way if you run you might be able to get farther and yes i know they have like the people around and stuff like that but literally like what is the difference in your speed like just run try to go try to get places faster you would kind of think that the guy that knows something would know something like you think he he he's like i know where they keep the shotgun shells but you think he'd also Keep know, like, down. okay, the, I know everybody's at every door. How? So yes. I, I, he should have an idea how to actually get out or something. Exactly. Nothing. That's he's what like, they should have focused on right immediately. The, the, he's like, yeah, we'll just walk out. And yeah, I'm, literally. And I'm going to destroy these 10 people with a shotgun myself. Yeah. That yeah, I like, what get. was his plan? Was there, that was, that was, his, that was his plan? Like, like that wasn't really that was a plan. That was a shit plan. It yeah, exactly. Well. It was a bad plan. Um, but also, I thought it was interesting that the, Singer, uh, as he gets killed, it pan- he looks over and pans over to the shotgun. So we get a little bit of shotgun foreshadowing. But I thought, like, maybe he wasn't totally dead. That's exactly what dead. I thought yeah. from that scene. Yeah, yeah it was, was very weird. weird. It it kind of didn't need to be there at all. Exactly. There was so much of that movie that did not need to be there at all. You're the, so right. The backstory, the the, the all the so much of it. It could have just been a band that was like got scheduled to play at this fucking place, and boom, it's oh, it's full of neo Nazis. Done. Why do we, there was so much extra that we did not need. We didn't need the fucking 
the cousin and the, oh, we're going to drive away, not going to be in it anymore. It just it well, was then all it, unnecessary. It was interesting that the, at the end, they show the, the original punk cousin vacuuming his house for no reason. Yeah, like he's exactly. just chilling. Yeah. Like, it, there was he gets so to much survive? of it that was unnecessary. Yeah, and you know what? Like, I don't want to bust on it too much because I really did enjoy the movie, but I think that the, the you're right. It, it, there were sections that, unfortunately, the storyline was poorly written. Yes. It's, it's an A24, which uh, is usually very artsy, which it did have a lot of very it, artsy, it did. artsy parts. There was a one moment that really surprised me because like, it was punk, like, punk rock, punk rock, punk rock, and then all of a sudden it slows down, and it's this like methodic... like melody like I playing. know it was, I it was, was like was art what the fuck and really in the like, wrong places yeah it was really strange because like I expected to be rocking and vibe you know to the yeah. music not to this weird like almost piano like sounding melody yeah it was very odd be- it just was out of character That's like a I'm lot saying. of it just felt it, it didn't read the tone it was artsy for no reason and in the wrong places yeah yeah and I get that they <laughs> threw uh, bottles at them for the anti-nazi song but yeah. like you think they would have just told him to get the fuck off the stage exactly. or something yeah it doesn't make a lot of I'm not, sense i'm not saying that they would have killed them but i'm just saying they would have been like look fuck these guys yeah get, get, the, get the, fuck the fuck out, out of yeah here. we don't want to listen to you but and so what what really disappointed me is that i was hoping that there would be more like enjoyable fight scenes especially between all of the band members before they all fucking died yeah like they just all got obliterated by the dog and like i get it that whatever that might be scary but i was really hoping that they would like take out a few nazis before they die at least you know what i mean like and that's what i i wanted to see some some yeah but i also wanted to see like if I'm dying fight. punk rock, I'm dying punk yeah, rock. You, you know think, what I mean? You think they would have a punk rock attitude, but really they're exactly. a bunch of pussies. They were all just pussies and they all just died. Like none of them really fought except for the last two and they fought and whatever, but they didn't fight. They had guns, which is, is good. But like yeah, I wanted to see strategic. like, I wanted to see wrestling and knife fighting. Well, you know especially what I mean? when we yeah. get, we, uh, we get told there's this jujitsu legend. That here. too. Exactly. You think like he would take out a couple of guys or nope. like. They, they, yeah, I don't know. It, it the was scene odd. where they open Just the door Justin. and he gets his hand annihilated. I expected the two or two to come in and I expected them to fight. But they didn't. They just no, they trapped just themselves back in the room, and jetty. the guy was like fucked up with his arm. Yeah. yeah, it was very, it was very interesting. Like there is a lot of elements that I think were really, really cool about the movie, but I don't feel like they got enough recognition or enough writing or enough time or enough effort. Or weren't expanded on there enough. There was way too much backstory and unnecessary, yeah. unnecessary filler story. So right. much filler. When so we much could filler. have just had more fight scenes, more like cool part of the and story. And that would have been so entertaining. Yeah, like I would have liked them to have fought a little harder for their lives. Me and, too. And Because like they I, run out. Oh, you get killed by a dog. Oh, the next one runs out. Oh, I get killed by a dog. Literally. It's like, yeah. good job. Yeah. What if they had twisted it or twist? T- what if they had uh, angled it like the Nazis are trying to clean up this mess and they keep trying to kill the punks, but the punks become the horror. They become the killers. That's like a whole different story. You know yeah, what I like, mean? Yeah. To, to but wouldn't be that there, fucking there, cool. And some people. Yeah. And that, and I do feel that way. Like there's a, I, I like the story. And like you said, there is a lot of tension. And mm-hmm. through the whole thing. And like, yeah, it's, it's so stressful. And I think that's why what the when you're happen. watching it, you're cool. Like, you're like, mm-hmm. okay, this is... But when you go back and you start kind of picking apart the film, yes. you're like, they could have changed this. It would have done a yeah. lot better. But they nailed the um, feeling of being trapped and stuck. Yeah. And yes, how do absolutely. you get out? That sort of feeling of overwhelming dread, uh, which is why I think like it, what the it fuck does. do you do? Yeah, like seriously, like if we were in that situation, like I don't know, would you try to fight as much as like you can, or would you try to hold up and see what you could do? Well, yeah, because they're they're movie characters, but it lo- logically, obviously, they would die. Like there is no way they would have survived. And the guy would have died because of his arm situation. The girl was mauled by a dog in the leg and continued walking for a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was shot, too. Yeah, neither of them would have survived. Duct tape logically. everything. Yeah, yeah duct tape really. makes everything okay. Thanks, Red Green. <laughs> Remember, 
the women don't find you handsome, she at least find you handy. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I don't think any of them would have survived in a logical, real situation. Oh, no. So no. like, yeah, I think if that situation I was in it, I would just fight to the death. At least try to take out some with you. Yeah. Like, and like I said, so you get this weird cut back where you see the guy vacuuming and then you get a cut back to the band that the, the reason the whole movie exists is because that punk band killed that girl and they're just getting high watching cartoons in a, in a hotel room somewhere. Yeah. Like you don't know, like the one guy's nodded out with his, uh, uh needle in his arm, but he is he dead? dead? Is yeah. he not dead? Is it just, are you just showing him, um, these, this is the rest of the people that just live the rest of their lives very normally. Yeah. Again, yeah like why, what was like, the point of that? scenes were tough. Totally unnecessary. Well, and I think it falls back to they're just trying to be artsy about it. Exactly. Um, and I get it. And and I yeah I uh, I don't know. It was tough. It was really cool. Um, so final thoughts. Um, what was your overall feeling? Uh, and I don't know. Give it a rating out of five. Out of five? Yeah, pocket five is good. My overall feeling. Hmm, I thought it was it was. It was fairly the story needed some work, um, but the 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 gore was was well done. Yeah, um, they like chopped at his arm with a Agreed. machete, and it, it looked realistically gross and gory. It didn't look like play doh, right. you know. Um, acting it, it was acted very well. It was very believable. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd give it a three and a half out of five. Yeah, dreamer. I, I don't know. I maybe <laughs> maybe I a two point five. I oh she's harsh. harsh. Okay. I was not impressed. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to tell you the truth. I was not impressed with this movie. I did not expect what I was given. Uh, many moments I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, I I wanted a lot more than I got in this. Maybe I had too high of expectations. Um, but it just really was not what I wanted. Um, and there, there was some very interesting and cool, uh, aspects of it. Very admirable acting, very admirable, uh, SFX, very admirable shots. Some of them were, um, all of it was very interesting, but could have been way better in my opinion. Yeah. See, she's a writer. So yeah, it's for sure. I'm very harsh very, with the storytelling. Exactly. Yeah. And she's see, very, very harsh. I, even though I like uh, I write as well, um, I'm also extremely forgiving of other people's art. Yeah. Um, first thing I probably uh, my gut my gut is a four. I think it's a four out of five. It's definitely worth the watch. Whether or not you're going to enjoy it, I don't know. For what it is, you are going to feel isolated. You are going to feel uh, dread. You're going to feel. Uh, helpless a lot and i think yeah absolutely i think that has a lot to do with the uh the horror element or the thriller element correct and i get that they tried to throw in some crime aspects and, and some some drama and some little things in there but i think those things were too much filler for what was yeah, easily absolutely. just a, a great concept the whole drug aspect of it was completely unnecessary there didn't need to be it could have been subtle involved it could have all. been very subtle yeah, oh, I think they did that just to show, like, to give that reason why they're going to these lengths. Yeah, because that is kind of necessary because why, like, I guess Nazis are all bad or, like, that's kind of the main gist is that Nazis can be very dangerous. So maybe you wouldn't need that explanation, but, like, it is, it is good to have that foundation of, like, why are they so, you know, crazy over this? Why yeah. are they so willing to go to these lengths? Why are they so... Because they're neo Nazis who's who's mur who murdered something. Like, <laughs> yeah, in my no, opinion, I get it. that's enough of a reason. You don't it, want yeah. these band members going out and telling police officers that you murdered that someone here. A neo Nazi club in this area who just murdered a girl. You know, they've probably murdered many others. Mm -hmm. That that's enough, in my opinion. Yeah. You don't need the drugs at all. That's that's pretty fair. And I th I think you're you're probably right. Now, um, I do find it hilarious that they do put in many movies where you're like, we're going to leave and we didn't see anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, it does not no happen. No, <laughs> no one's going to ever fucking say that. Yeah, like, I would love to see the movie where they're just like, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, good. Go Thanks. Okay, bye. No Thanks problem. for keeping our secret. And then Have they a good kept day. the secret for 20 years. <laughs> like, yeah, like, you know what, what the fuck? Hey, remember that time we saw that dead body? Yeah, no, as soon as I got to any fucking town or city, I'd be like, ding, ding, ding. Hi, police. Exactly. Saw murder. Saw yeah, murder. Because oh, what's shit. the other option? They will forever be after you? It's not like they'd be like, yeah. you know what? We're cool. They're We're not cool. just going to let you go. We're cool. You don't, you didn't see anything and we won't come after you. And the fact that they show that there's a murder weapon from last Easter lets you know that they've they're been murdering sloppy. forever. That's what I mean. They're murderers. That too. They, so they're also very there's sloppy. There's so many with people it. with the red laces. Yeah. Blah, blah, like blah. there was at least four that they showed in that group. Yeah. Right. Uh, see one more. Okay. So here's one more thing. The big one last thing. The big guy that's in the room with them. Yeah. Um it does not make sense to me why when the lights went out, he just sat there. I know, right? Like he didn't fucking yeah. rush the guy for the for the, for the gun. gun? Yeah, like, like, are you serious? He, There's a good thirty seconds, maybe maybe longer. Yeah, and like I get the guy knows jujitsu, but in the dark, that guy's got like two hundred pounds on him. No shit. Like, you, obviously, he can overpower him at least for enough to get the gun or to get the gun out of his exactly. hands. Exactly. And even if he just stood up and fucking cold cocked him. Yeah. yeah if you hit him hard him enough. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, that is interesting. But then again, it, sense it falls me. back to the artsy thing where they, if you don't like what the cherry does, kill them. Oh, snap. All right. Um... So yeah, I think that's that's it. It's fine. That's the final thoughts, hey? Yeah, I think yeah, those were the final, final thoughts. thoughts. No worries. All right, well, you guys go check it out if you've seen the film and you have a difference of opinion than us. Let's we'd love fight. to hear about it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Catch me outside. Naughty puck, naughty puck, naughty pucks, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But uh but yeah, I don't know, check it out. Uh all the links to all the social medias will be in the uh post below uh in the show notes all that good stuff you can check us out um head over to nftfyb.com for all things uh fysc studios and more and uh until next week run along kitties bye-bye see ya